about it and, and, and so, so shocked. I really, I really never thought that I would live to see that happen. I didn't think I'd live to see abortion access uh, go backwards. And it is so terrifying. It's so terrifying. You know, I look at my, you know, my nieces who are seven and nine years old and I think, you know, when, when are we ever, you know, we're still sort of fighting these same battles that my mum fought, you know, 30 years ago. Like, and uh, when are we ever going to hand over a world to the next generation that isn't going to be fighting this same fucking bullshit? And like, I find that maddening and, and enraging and heartbreaking. But, you know, in many ways, one of the worst things about it for me is that while that is happening, right, while we're losing uh, women's rights in a really sort of fundamental, you know, undeniable way, while that is happening in reality, while that's happening, some of the most powerful women in the world are using their platforms and their power and their privilege not to fight that real misogyny that is really happening, but instead to vilify and demonize trans people, right? That's happening right now. And, um, and I feel like, you know, like I'm sure you probably wouldn't be here if this is like a controversial thing for you to hear. <laughs> But genuinely, in case there is, because there's a lot of fucking shit about this in the newspapers, right? And in case any of you in, in here are in any way doubtful or concerned or worried about this, then please take it from me. I swear to you, there is no conflict between women's rights and trans rights. That is not a real thing. That is so <laughs> While we're focusing on that, while we're focusing on this completely fucking fictional threat to women's rights, the misogynists who have been trying to take away abortion access are the same misogynists who've been trying to do that since the dawn of time, and they are fucking laughing at us for being divided at this time when what we need is a united solidarity front against them. Right? That's what we're so this is a song about those things. Um, it's called Meanwhile in Texas, um, and uh, I want to just make you aware this song does make uh, brief reference to sexual assault. It's not graphic or anything, but it is in there, so I just want you to be prepared for that. It goes like this. I don't never even hear before Shed these tears and fought this war The things my mother struggled for The same wolf I am mighty in the Supreme Court, no one abuses never fall. That's the right for which we fought, and now their word is law. Did you never think what we might lose? Giving free reign to Fox News, letting far right ideology become normal points of view. We've been warning for some time, the canary in the mine, that when they come for some of us. Be a 
Die tonight. 